Ready! One, two, three. March. One, two, three. Three, two, one, please. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, mom was like, don't cover me. <laughs> Go sit down. Yeah, we have no dead bin. <laughs> what did they say? Uh, before anything else, we are here, we were invited to join uh, your company, your, your, your party. And um, I, this is very unexpected. I didn't know that uh, the iPad people are very unified and they're always together as I could, as I could see out of your posts. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that since the time uh, I met the candidates or the iPad ladies, parang it evolved. It becomes uh, the, 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 the ladies, I mean the candidates, there is items became worldwide beauties already. Yeah, that's true. It has been proven by some of you, like for instance, uh, in the in the uh, Miss, uh, yeah, and she performed very well. And uh, I believe that uh, the reason why she was uh, she she got a job for training with iPhone. But not necessarily from HR or job. No, <laughs> <laughs> like Genetic. I know everybody has even beauty. They have, they have their particular type of beauty. International audiences would appreciate. And I know that you have it. And uh, the, more you, the more you put everything together, the more you will achieve your dream. And uh, your dream is uh, it's almost there. It's uh, one. Oh, okay. Tonight, I would like to ask uh, the 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 help. I mean, I know uh, to uh, to say something about their experiences uh, on how they achieve their titles internationally and uh, how they became top models of the country and how they were brought to different parts of the world for to model and uh, and uh, with the fathers I would like to also ask the two main models to talk about modeling for the fathers okay um, before before I go on with the, what I'm going to talk about as you know we're going to come up with a fashion show this coming September 17 17 and I hope this, it will be a, a huge success because modest aside, all the shows that are done all over the world was a huge success. And I know, I mean, the show that was that was that will be produced was produced by, no, by Ipen would be um, equal to other shows that I've done. Uh, of course, uh, I'm very very happy also that. Uh, there is a continuous uh, since 1982. I was only 12 years old at that time. And until now, uh, she, she still believes in me, although I don't believe her. <laughs> no, we're very, very close. Okay. And uh, before I go, and before I love us, or uh, to meet uh, the ladies, who made it so big in the fashion world in the Philippines. Not only the Philippines, mind you. They've been all over the world. They have modeled in New York and been in Europe. And uh, and uh, two of these ladies were crowned internationally in the Miss Supra and then in the Miss Globe. And uh, they brought uh, prestige and honor to our country. That makes what the Philippines is all about because of these two women all. Over because he, he knows the history of the countries of the Philippines. By the way, he will be helping me uh, you out to move to go to uh, to parade and etc. etc. Uh, by the way, uh, short uh, introduction about Kata. Kata is uh, the most famous fashion choreographer in town next to Raymond Villanueva. 
<laughs> no, please Keta. Keta is, um, how would I say about that? Okay, Keta is a very nice person. And sometimes he cannot move, he cannot walk, because he has gout. Okay, Keta, would you like to say something to them? Something good about me? <laughs> yeah, I, I will see everyone on September 15th. 17, no? yes. After our show in Vancouver, we're flying back to Toronto. Um, I've been in the industry for the past 30 years. More than... Hello, 30 lang. <laughs> 8 years as an assistant director, 22 years as a fashion director in the Philippines. But uh, of course, I know these ladies and gentlemen who are with us tonight. First, I'd like to call on a top model in the Philippines. She was my candidate. She was a candidate of Supermodel or Model Supermodel of the Philippines 2009, which I directed. We I call her Anne Barker. She has modeled in different countries in Asia. This is Anne. So she's one of the country's senior models now. Next is. Uh, because of age. Because of age. <laughs> no, kidding aside, well, she's one of the most dependable models in the Philippines today. Next is a Binibini Laguna winner. And uh, she was uh, from um, Itbulagas Miss Millennial. She was Miss Millennial Laguna 2019, Eloisa Howell. <laughs> of course, we have an international Filipina fashion model. She has done shows in North America, Europe. She has agencies in those continents. And of course, she was, she's one of her loves in Philippine fashion, Jasmine Meyer Offer, Patrimonio. She just didn't get married to the son of Alvin Patrimonio. Clean to fame talaga. Wow. And she's one of my loves, you know. The, the boyfriend then proposed in my show. So, it was a very memorable show. Next we have uh, Binibinig Pilipinas Supranational 2012 who went on to win third runner-up in Miss Supranational 2012 in Poland. Miss Elaine Moll. Okay. And the last female model we have is Mutiana Pilipinas, Asia Pacific 2015. She won, she represented the Philippines and won as Miss Tourism Queen of the Year International 2015 in Malaysia. And she won Binibini Pilipinas Globe 2019. And she represented the country in Albania, where she won second runner-up in Miss Globe 2019. The first top natural counselor of the municipality of Los Baños, Laguna, Laren May Bautista. Our next model is the best model of the Philippines male winner 2017, Daniel Sila. Lastly, we have a model who is also a travel vlogger, Arnel Kalugay. So these are the models who will be uh, joining us for Calgary and Vancouver, but sadly they won't be able to join us here in Toronto on September 17. But these were the models who did, some of them did the show in uh, last uh, gala, sh gala show and at the Nathan Phillips uh, Stadium. So these are our prides and we hope to see you also as our national prides in the Philippines. Okay? Uh, of course, I have said so many things already. I know you're bored with me already. But uh, of course, you never get bored with my beauty. <laughs> okay. I'd like you to first uh, listen to what these uh, ladies would say about uh, about their careers, about beauties, uh, about your contests, and uh, all that stuff. Be crowned. Although you're wearing already your crowns, but of course, you would like to achieve more than wearing the crown 
domestically, but you would like to have it internationally, although some of you are already international winners. So I'd like to start uh, Anne Barker to say something. What happened to her modeling career, her love life? And <laughs> okay, I'll go on. Hi. Hi guys. Um, I know you guys are still young and we, the models, we started at a very young age and I just want to say don't compare yourself to others because we, all of us started from zero, from, this, from scratch. So just focus on yourself, your A-game. Don't compare yourself to others and don't forget to enjoy the memories, build connections and friendship along the way or along the way. What about the parents? What do you say about the parents? But I love the parents. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Titos and Titas, for having us and of course um for the warm welcome. Um talagang babalik po kami. Thank you po. And then, next to say something is Eloisa. Eloisa is the youngest, she's of my age. <laughs> Hello everyone, good evening. Um, I started modeling when I was 15 years old, and I was able to know Mama Rene when I was 17, and he brought me to um, New York to model um, her, um, his collections, and I'm very grateful for it. I was also joining beauty pageants before, and I am very thankful that I was able to experience that kind of thing, especially in Itbulaga. I know some of you are familiar with it. I was able to represent Laguna and Miss Millennial Itbulaga, and it was a nice experience. And I know all of you um, are been in that too. And all I want to say is always continue dreaming and never lose hope and always be confident because you will never gonna lose what is yours. Yes. Hi po, thank you, thank you so much for having us. Super, we feel the love talaga. And thank you, Mama, for bringing us always. Yeah. <laughs> it's deep po talaga namin to Mama. Oh. I, I, so, dito, Agnes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Um, I started modeling when I was 14. And now I'm 31. So, parang adek, magto two decades na pala. Um, I love Broadway. Um, Ano ba? Enjoy, enjoy everything from from the very beginning till wala namang end kasi continuous talaga siya. Believe in yourself and let God do the work. That's it. God's feeling. Thank you so much for inviting us to come here in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to be in Filipinas um, 2012 Super National. I was I won first runner up and I was the oh. first Miss Super National from Binibini Filipinas. And my journey um, um I think just be in the moment, like enjoy every bit of it because time flies really. Now it's been like 10 years because I won 2012. <laughs> yeah, and that's like 10 years ago. So my advice is just to savor every moment and then don't forget to be like grateful to everyone that's supporting you. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, good evening everyone. Um, I would like to thank you to Edgar, the IPEN family, to all the parents. Um, Dita Agnes, and to all the beautiful ladies out here, to Mama Rene, to my fellow um, uh, models, um, we would like to thank every one of you for welcome for, for us. Uh, I am Laren May Bautista. I am now a counselor in Las Banas, Laguna. But before that, I was also an aspirant. I was also a dreamer. So before, I don't really want to join any beauty pageants because, you know, in the Philippines, um, they wanted um, 
a mestiza, a tall one, a skinny one, but I am not like that. So, um, I am very thankful to my mom. <laughs> I, I know all the moms out there would be, uh, <laughs> would, would really um, know the feeling because when I told my mom I wanted to join a beauty pageant and she was like, go for it. You're tall, you can do it, you're beautiful, um, you're intelligent, so just believe in yourself. And without that push, I wouldn't be here in front of you. So thank your moms and thank your parents who are there to support you and to um, even not your parents, I mean even the organizers, even mama, even your designers or whoever, your friends, um, whoever they are, be thankful to them because I know they would really push you to become who you, whoever you want to be in life. Um, so then I become, um, I don't think, a successful beauty queen, but <laughs> a beauty queen um, with a lot of titles because um, I have a goal. I had a goal, and that goal is to prove myself to everyone that I can. So that um, in um, in connection with being a counselor right now, I know being a counselor and a beauty, being a beauty queen is a different path. But when I set my goal in it, and then I achieved it. So meaning in in our lives, whatever path that we um, go through or whatever career that we wanted, we want um, for as long as we have a goal, for as long as we have the right people around us who are there to support us, to give advices, to push us, to, to really um, say the right words, to encourage us. I think that is one of the biggest blessing to all of us. And of course, um, I wouldn't be also be here without the, the help of the Rekata who saw me in, in, in my first ever pageant in Binibining Laguna and also Mama Rene who were there since the beginning and never left me in every journey that I had, um, especially in the pageant journey and in my personal life. Um, he had become, she had become a big um, factor to my personality and to my who who I am today. So um, I just want to say to every girl, to the girls that you always have to believe in yourself. Um, you always have to be confident. You always have to enjoy every moment of it. And don't forget those people who are, behind. especially right now in your journey. Um, just be with them. Just be grateful. And I know that you will come a long way. So just be happy and be thankful to everybody who are here. And just follow your dream and set a goal. So thank you so much and have a good night. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. And I just want to share a nice advice that I would like to acknowledge and I think applies for everyone. So. This is the Rekata, and uh, years ago, sabi niya sa akin, kasi mag inilove ko noon, um, wala akong alam about sa modeling and everything, pero sabi niya, um, kung hindi ka maniniwala sa sarili mo, bakit pa kami maniniwala sa'yo? Diba? And without that advice, siguro hindi ako maglalakas loob na subukan ang fashion modeling. And trivia lang that uh, my first fashion na uh, show is with Mama Renee Salud, and so on. So, I'm just grateful for... Uh, <laughs> so I'm just so grateful for every opportunity. I'm grateful to be part of Philippine Tapestry to represent the Philippines and also the fabric uh, made by Mama Rene Salud, you know, the couture and everything. So maraming salamat and I hope that uh, we all go push in, uh, for our dreams and everything. So laban lang, di ba? Hi everyone, good evening. I'm Arnold Kalugay. Uh, first of all, I'm grateful, thankful of course, like uh, the Rekata, uh, Tita Agnes, uh, the 12 girls, Sir Jam, and of course, Mamarine. I owe everything to him. I owe everything to him. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from nobody to somebody now. <laughs> I'm, a tra I'm also a travel blogger. Uh, I travel a lot uh, for you guys. Uh, just uh, just enjoy life, learn, explore, and discover. Because I travel, just travel a lot because uh, a per a pe people who 
people who do not travel read only one page. Portion is open for interrogation. <laughs> if you have some questions, uh, please uh, feel free to, to shoot the question to any one of them. Don't worry. Um, with every rejection, there is always an opportunity for you to to be better. And so that, I guess, um, just if you fail, um, this is, the, oh, this is uh, okay, I'll share you my motto. <laughs> Uh, my motto is, there's no such, such thing as defeat if you try. So whenever you try, even if you, if you fail, at least you learn from it, you win from it. So if there's a failure, there would always be an opportunity for you to try again. Like, failure in trying. Failure is, um, yeah, no, no. <laughs> like, just by trying, it's already like, uh, breakthrough to like whatever goal you want to achieve. Yeah. <laughs> it means to ask for my help, not to think about fear and failure. Those are negative uh, mindsets. So just think of the things that you can deliver and perform well. Do not think of those two words. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, for me, um, it's normal to uh, fear and failure is normal because we all experience fear of the unknown. But um, just don't attract um, failure because if you will attract failure, then you are ready to fail. So for me, just focus on yourself. Do, parang do your A game and. <laughs> and um, just believe in yourself because uh, everyone is different so just don't compare your, yourself to others because uh, that's <laughs> no, because, uh, that's, uh, no, eh, that's the start of the fear eh. especially modeling if you're new you, you keep on comparing yourself to the higher models and without um, telling yourself oh I need to start from the beginning so just Focus on the now and don't focus on the fear and the failure. Yeah. Kevin, the best answer is uh, to add up to what she said. Yeah, if you uh, if you think of fear, then failure will come. Because if you're nervous on stage, you have, you're fearful. Uh, you will reject. You will uh, project another image, which is not you. You will distort your face. Uh, everything is the, everything will be negative. The easiest way to fear to uh, to overcome fear is pray high. Prayer works. Mm -hmm. I believe in that believe because. Uh,